here at All in One Fitness, Jim in Albany. I'm going to be taking you through the this week's workout of the week. We've got uh, intermediate to advanced circuit training, total body circuit. Uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of reps of each exercise, uh, but in general, you can do each exercise for eight reps and then cycle through the entire circuit three to five times. Make sure you rest nine seconds in between each circuit, and let's go over there and show you what we're going to be doing. So the first exercise is a box jump. You'll be jumping to any level uh, height you feel that you're comfortable with. This is a medium sized height. Remember, you only want to do plyometric training. This is referred to as plyometric training. If your knees are in good condition and you've worked your way up to this level of training. An alternate is doing to a smaller step and just doing step ups. So, this is just your modified version. So tighten your core, make sure you start from the knees, you keep your body real tight, your core straight, and you roll your arms out forward, but not to the point where you feel it in your low back. Want to make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders, your core is tight. Um, this is a modified version of a push up, an elevated push up. If you want it a little bit more challenging, you could also put your feet on a bench. Liz, you want to demonstrate that real quick? All right. So this is kind of equivalent to a decline chest press. Sorry, incline chest press. All right, moving on to the body suspension row. Engage your shoulder blades, palms face each other, and you squeeze your shoulder blades together, and you keep your core real tight. This is a great challenge for the balance. Great for skiers or tennis players. Anybody that wants to improve in their sports, balance goes a long ways 